So this is a interesting front-end coding challenge where we have to build a proper web app where it would be, you know, functionalities like search, multi-tabs, pagination, interacting with an API and lots of more stuff. So this is a very good question which can be used as a take-home assignment. I've seen and users have reported this question as a, a take-home assignment in companies like Gojek and IND Wealth maybe and a couple of more. Uh, based on the user feedback I got. So let's see what we have to build. Let's go through the functional requirements. So the user should be able to search GIFs using keywords. The app should render the GIFs in a dynamic grid. So let's see what does that mean. So if I, so we have three tabs, home, trending and random. Uh, uh, in the home section, we have this search bar and right now it's empty. So we are getting this graphic. So if I search any uh, let's say if I search any key using any keyword. So let's say Dragon Ball Z. So I'm getting these GIFs from an API. I'll share the API later. So and th these GIFs are rendered in a dynamic grid. So and if I click on load more, then more GIFs are fetched and they are again rendered in the same dynamic grid format. So this is pagination. You can either implement it as a infinite scroll or you can use a load more CTA to render more GIFs. Now it says that the GIF should have a play and pause functionality. The GIF should have the feature to view as full screen. So basically if you hover over any GIF, there is slight uh, uh, transition to it. Plus there are three uh, controls. One is this uh, full screen one. It would just render the GIF uh, inside an overlay as a full screen. You can close this overlay. The next is that if you click on uh, play and pause button, then it would just pause the GIF. And if you click on it, then it would just play the GIF. So it is true for every GIF. Play and pause functionality. And if you click on the download button, it would take you to the source of the GIF where you can download it. So we talked about full screen play and pause. We talked about uh, download now as i mentioned there are search trending and random section so this is the home search section if you go to trending then it would give you just uh, some trending memes on the platform from the database if you click on load more that it would just load more gifs and it has the same functionality full screen pause download and if you go to random then it would give you just a random GIF from the database. If you click on refresh, it would fetch another one and you can refresh as many times you want. So we talked about this. Let's say, let me search again. Now it says that it should be accessible. You can, you know, make it accessible using keyboard and uh, everything, uh, other techniques to make it accessible. Plus it should be responsive. So if I, you know, decrease the width, then uh, it should change. The GIFs width should change. The the dynamic grid should change, and ultimately, it should take hundred percent width available width. So you have to be mindful of that. And all these mockups are presented here. So use them as a reference. Feel free to enhance on it. Feel free to add more functionalities like maybe. Uh, infinite low infinite loading here or improving the UI add a, maybe the rendering GIF in another manner but dynamic grid is a requirement so think about that so it's an intermediate to advanced question because you have to work with a lot of stuff here and uh, yeah the next part is the resources so this uh, developers.gp.com is the API from where you can get all the GIFs. You have to create an account and uh, generate an API key for this. Now, if you if you solve this question and submit on the platform and share your submission with everybody, then your API key would be visible because it's used on the client side. So be mindful of that. Try to, you know, uh, maybe use a dummy account to generate an API key and use that rather than your primary account. It's up to you. I'm just sharing it as a disclaimer. So, I would be adding the demo video here. So give it a try. 
uh, i would love to see your solution this is my solution this is a working solution so if you go to the file section then i have all the components all the content i just you know create quickly created this question i have i haven't shared my solution yet i want to see your solution first then i'll share uh, uh, what i have built using how i am implementing the dynamic grid and everything so looking forward to your solution try it out and uh, share it with everyone thank you